But it would honestly be harder for me to quit doing the things that I'm doing than to keep doing them because that is how consistent I am. Here are five things you have to do in 2025 as a business owner, as a content creator. You have to. Let's get into it. Hey y'all. So I've been talking to a lot of people about businesses and the things I do with my business and what's happening and a lot of people ask me for advice and I'm like, what advice? Starting right off, number one be loud. Now, if you are rich, or if you have a famous name, or if you just come from somebody who's just notable in your town, in your city, in your whatever, if you have all of that stuff, you probably get attention. You probably get people looking at you. You probably get some kind of buzz. The rest of us, we have to talk. We have to enunciate because nobody is just walking around saying, la 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 la, I wonder if someone, I should just give them my money today. Nobody is doing that. You have to be loud because I was in line to vote, talking about my podcast, talking about being a lawyer. The person I was talking to, their daughter-in-law was like a law librarian or something. My homeboy turns around like, I knew that was your voice. I knew that was you. I'm like, who the heck is talking about podcasting? but Kyla because I'm the podcast lady. I talk about it absolutely everywhere. I don't care if you talk to me about a grocery store, I will relate it back to a farming show that I've listened to. I am loud about podcasting. I am loud about how it can boost your business. I am loud about all the things that it has done for my life and my You Are Lawyer podcast. You don't gotta worry about anybody else whispering my name in other rooms. I'm loud about it. The second thing, you have to craft a story. I'm not talking makeup lies. I'm not talking this lofty stuff, exaggerating. You have to tell a story, okay? Now, back in the day, they used to say, what's your elevator pitch? That was because when you were going to these big companies, jumping in the elevator, you only had 27 seconds, 30 seconds to pitch your idea to whoever Big Wig was and hope that they would create it. We don't have that anymore. What if we didn't have all that time to build that rapport? What would I have said to her? Hey, oh my gosh, my name is Kylie. Oh, what do I do? I'm a storyteller. So I launch podcasts for business owners who need to expand their brand visibility because they are bored with traditional marketing. Social media is not marketing, newsletters, you have to already have a list. What does that tell them? For one, you wanna start a podcast with your best friend talking about life? I'm not your producer. You're a business who's bored with social media. You're a business who doesn't know what else to do when the apps change their algorithm. Hi, enter podcast. Do you have to make one? Absolutely not. Is it good for your business? Yes. Number three, you have to be willing to do the work. If you are not willing, you will not do it. You can read all the motivational books and in the back of your mind, I'm not gonna do that. I know I'm not gonna go nowhere. I know I'm not gonna do it. If you know, don't do it. It's not gonna hurt my feelings. Because we often know somewhere you wanted to go, you didn't wanna go. You are willing to do it, you are unwilling to do it. But you have to be willing and you have to like really listen to yourself and be honest. And if you are uncomfortable with being honest, which can happen, you just have to practice. Number four, boost other brands. If you have a business social media account, when you are on social media and you see your friend post something about their business, reshare it, put it in your stories, like it, leave a comment. It does not hurt you at all to boost other brands. In fact, I have found that when I schedule 15 minutes to get online, when I'm on my Pomodoro break, liking other people's stuff, boosting their stuff, congratulating them, sharing it in the stories. People engage with your stuff more. Why? Because social media does not want ghost accounts. They do not want my assistant scheduling and you don't see anything else crickets to the next post. That's scheduled, that they can tell is scheduled. Social media is not an active way of doing marketing. It is very soft, it is very passive. You want passive results? Do passive marketing, just saying. The fifth thing that you absolutely have to do in 2025, you have to be consistent. I promise you, people want to give you their money. They want to find you. They want to resonate with your story. They want to be excited that you boost other brands. They want to hire you. They cannot find you. You are inconsistent. You are here today, gone tomorrow. And that means if you feel good, you're gonna do the work. If you wake up with a cold, maybe I can't record because I'm gonna be on nasally, but I can read books all day and I can prep, or I can edit video, or I can send follow-up and pitch emails. You have to commit and you have to be consistent. I like to put on contact lenses. I like to put on makeup and even earrings. I like to do all of that stuff to record. When my husband runs out to grab the baby and I have 20 minutes in the house by myself, I can also record with glasses on and I will still release it. I am committed. I am consistent. But it would honestly be harder for me to quit doing the things that I'm doing than to keep doing them because that is how consistent I am.
it's 2025, you have to do it. Like, these are the five things that you have to stop joking with and, and just do them. Now look, if you are having trouble, if you really wanna create a podcast and you just don't know how to do it, please contact me. My email address is right here. I would love to work with you and help you if you are a business owner and would like to boost your brand visibility with podcasting, okay? There are people listening to podcasts every single day who would love to hear about your business who are looking for the services that you have. And also, if you are just kind of interested in podcasting but you don't really know where to start, feel free to send me a message. I attend podcast conferences. I love talking about podcasting. I used to write blogs about podcasting. I will help you, I will support you, I will be your number one cheerleader, okay? So, thank you for hanging out with me in this bonus episode, and I will talk to you next time.